So I have a message from socially distanced Hoopdog in the Fusion team. This is significant, mate. If you're currently using the Fusion 360 for personal use, the free version, well, you might want to give this video your absolute fullest attention because, mate, everything is about to change. So last week, I was briefed by the Fusion team in preparation for today with regards to a major amendment to the Fusion 360 personal license. And right, first off, it's really important to stress that the free to use version of Fusion 360 is not being pulled. It's not going away. But there's a word that I referenced in one of my previous videos, which kind of needs some explanation, but it's actually perfect to describe what's going on here. So the Fusion 360 personal license, well, it's being nerfed. And to nerf is to downgrade the power, effectiveness, or influence of something in the attempt to achieve balance. And nerf perfectly describes exactly what's going on with the free-to-use version of Fusion 360, as it's about to be significantly downgraded, mate. So, what's happening? Well, as of, so far, January 19th, 2021, if you're using the Fusion 360 personal license, you're only going to be able to have 10 active documents in your Fusion 360 project account. And by documents, well, that means models and drawings. So if you currently have more than 10, which you probably, very much probably do, you're gonna to have to archive all but 10 of your Fusion 360 project documents. You can make something that's active, archived, and something that's archived back into active at any time and as many times as you want, and there's no limit on how many archived documents that you've got, but you can't have any more than 10 active models slash documents in your account at any one time. And the 10 active documents that you can have in your account doesn't include things like images, PDFs, things like that. And it's, it's just models. Uh, but if you've got a drawing of a model, well then that will count as two documents. And if you use in the electronics environment, all the separate components required to make an electronics product that will, they'll all just count towards one active document or else they'll just fill up in no time. The documentation environment is also being nerfed. Your 2D drawings can now only be single sheet. There's no more quick add for additional sheets. There's no more smart templates. And the ability to export drawings to PDF, DXF and DWG has all been removed with print or plot being the only output option available for drawings. And speaking of output options, a number of export file types have been removed from the modeling environment. So now you can, you can only output to F3D, F3Z, FBX, IPT, IEM, OBJ, SKP, SMT, SDP, and STL for 3D printing. And you can still export D DXF from a 2D sketch. And the cam tools, mate, a load of the cam tools have been axed from the free version. The Fusion 360 personal license will no longer have any access to multi-axis milling, specifically five axis and three plus two, the probing, automatic tool change, and rapid feed abilities. Well, they've also been axed from the personal license and the simulation environment, all of it gone from the free version of Fusion 360. There is now no facility whatsoever for any simulation in the free to use version of Fusion 360. And mate, that includes generative design. Even if you were prepared to spend them cloud credits on Autodesk, well, it's now just not even an option, even if you wanted to within the free version. Generative design is now completely unavailable to personal Fusion 360 users. And the same goes with cloud rendering, mate. Access revoked from the free version. You can still utilize your own workstation resource for local rendering, but access to, to leverage the cloud service is now no longer an option. So there's a bit of a theme there. Pretty much all access to any of the Fusion cloud services has been pulled from the, from the personal version. And finally, the ability, this one might sting for quite a few people, the ability to load and run any custom extensions now no longer possible in the Fusion 360 personal license. Oh, and I'm just adding this in at the end, hence the bad audio. This does not affect the startup license or the education license either. This is this is just for the free to use personal plan. Startup, commercial, education licenses aren't affected. They stay as they are. Right. When is this happening? Most of this is happening on October 1st, 2020. That's not long. If you need to export any files out of your projects uh, into the file types that are no longer available in the free version of Fusion 360, the likes of Step and IGIS, for example, then you need to get that done before October the 1st. The 10 active document allowance takes effect 
on January the 19th, 2021. So far, it might change. But after then, you'll need to set all but 10 documents as archived and inactive. The removal of the CAM tools, simulation, generative design, or everything else that I've mentioned, all the revoked tools, that's automatically going to kick in October 1st, 2020. Due to the significance of this announcement, I've decided to forego my usual added commentary analysis and often unpopular controversial opinions on what I'm reporting on. Instead, I'm opting to stay purely on point and deliver the message uh, that I need to in this video. Obviously though, kind of goes without saying, I've got a lot to say on this, got a lot of opinions. I've done an entire video discussing this, my take on it and all that kind of stuff in great detail. And that's linked in the description if you want to go and watch that to see what my real take is on this. So I appreciate there's going to be a lot of, <laughs> a lot of mixed feelings on this right now, uh, ranging from well, mixed ranging from upset all the way through to irate and uh, conspiracy confirmed. But please do bear in mind that I don't work for Autodesk. Any of the other YouTubers reporting this don't work for Autodesk. I, I've never done. In fact, it's my day job. I work for an Autodesk customer myself. So keep that in mind, please. If you're feeling the need to vent uh, some of the frustration and anger, you're welcome, of course, to use the like button as a punch bag. <laughs> Autodesk aren't going to misrepresent that as being uh, approval of, of their decisions here. There's no risk of that. You know, they're not gonna think you're pressing the like button on this video as an endorsement, but either way, yeah, that's that's the message. So <laughs> what I'm trying to say is don't shoot the messenger. I also appreciate as well that most people are gonna need quite some time to dwell on this and uh, what it means for them. But in anticipation of this going down, Autodesk have uh, enabled a 50% discount off of the commercial license of Fusion 360 starting today. So if anyone was already thinking about paying for the commercial license of Fusion 360, or this is kind of the kick that you needed to go and get that, I've got affiliate links in the description, which will take you directly to your local Autodesk store. I've got links to every geography in there. In the UK, for example, with the new discount, a three-year sub to Fusion 360 works out at, what, 19 pounds and 70 pence per month. And in the US, $22.25 per month. And that price is secured for three years. And that's to be legit and above board. So look, it is what it is. This is happening. There's no getting away from it. So if you want to stay with Fusion 360, that's that discount it's valid for a month i think it's just too good to pass up on links in the description so uh yeah i've also linked to the official autodesk announcement videos and blog posts in the description if you want to go and check them out too highly recommend that you do because they might add stuff to them details might change i can't change that here but they can change it there but yeah that's the message hopefully i'll see you over in the opinion piece video uh, also linked in the description Peter.